More to come on that. All right, First Lady Melania Trump visiting the migrant kids yesterday, but her trip is getting a lot of attention, not only for her actions, but also for her wardrobe choice before and after that. Melania Trump meeting with migrant children separated from their families at the border yesterday, and reportedly one of the driving forces behind the president's decision to reverse the policy of separating families, but all the media seems to want to talk about is that jacket the First Lady wore on the plane. It's a $39 jacket from Zara that reads, I really don't care. Do you? On the back. Watch this. She it's 100 degrees. It's 95% humidity in Texas. I just came from there. There is no scenario where you need to be putting on a jacket. Why did no one say, maybe pick one of your other beautiful coats, Melania? I just don't understand. Maybe it's a moment of true candor from her. I mean, this administration doesn't care about these kids. That she would go down there and do this, it tells us everything that we need to know. I mean, she's officially the Marie Antoinette of this administration. It should just say, let them eat cake. Oh, man, well, they are just a bunch of clucking hens. The First Lady spokeswoman, Stephanie Grisham, firing back in a statement saying, quote, it's a jacket. There was no hidden message. After today's important visit to Texas, I hope the media isn't going to choose to focus on her wardrobe. But the president says it was a shot at the media. Tweeting, quote, I really don't care. Do you? Written on the back of Melania's jacket refers to the fake news media. Melania has learned how dishonest they are, and she truly no longer cares. Meantime, Democratic Congresswoman Dina Titus of Nevada responding to the First Lady with this pic. A sign reading, I care. That's very deep on the back of her jacket. <laughs> Come on, at least commit to it. Go get a Hey, jacket? Pen. No, it was a piece of paper. Yeah, exactly. They Get a paint pen from there, Michael's. There are jackets available, though, if anyone would like, you know, I care, Democrat jackets. You okay. can go I'm, online I'm sure, and find them. I, I'm, I'm sure that, you know, will be some sort of a fashion meme. I don't know if it's going to translate into votes. I agree. It was, you know, really, it was a bad look for her. I mean, the green. I, it didn't also, make any sense. Who on her team said, you know what? That's a good choice because you know what? Yes, in society, we've got a problem where we don't focus on the substance of anything. You look at the, the president's overseas strip. I remember the first one he took with Melania and I saw more headlines about the fact that she swatted his hand away. And I was like, I just want to know what's going on on this trip. Things that actually matter to our life and our democracy. That's one problem. But you also need to realize the times that we live in and what a powerful moment it was for her to get down there on the border. This is something that she said that she's passionate about, that she doesn't want these families to be separated. Mm -hmm. That coat was such a distraction and she had to know that and her team had to know that. They so had who, to know. who was yeah. around her that they says, you know what, know. this is a terrible decision because the 24 hours after, which is what is happening right now, no one will be talking about you with the border. Order, they're going to be talking about the stupid jacket choice. But maybe that is what they want. And President Trump is actually telling the truth here because he wins off of the fake news media cycle. That's how he won this election by saying every all the elites are out to get me. They, they don't report honestly. So he can now tweet for the next few days and say, maybe. you know, First Lady Melania was so kind and she went down there and she really cares about these kids and you're only talking about her jacket. So that Juan, makes more sense than anything else because yeah, nothing else makes sense. Yeah, she, I mean, we watched her live on the couch yesterday and she went out there. She asked great questions. She was very compassionate. It didn't feel fake when you were watching her. I was interested in what they had to say. I went and played it back later. And then later I saw this picture and I was like, wait a second, was that the same event? She, didn't I, she have wasn't it even on wearing a jacket right. when I saw her. And you saw this, it has to be contrived. It has to but be, nothing else. What's the point? Well, what it Jessica so said. Bad. I know, well. And it's like, it's such a distraction and there's no need to have distractions when you're going to do something heartfelt and, and you're raising the appropriate kind of awareness. I think the people on the Trump side aren't going to believe that she meant I don't care. Right. The other side goes bananas, and then he uses it as a talking point. I think Jessica saw so the So when, when you see the coat, do you read Laurel or Yanny? You know, <laughs> that, that's really important. But, the but I, 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 I just don't understand why you would open yourself up to this kind of criticism what, what and Jessica distraction. Said. And, and, and she, she not only wore it once, she then put it back on. So, I mean, I, even in between, you would have thought, Somebody on her side who cares about out. her would have said, hey, this isn't working, yeah. don't or, do that. Wear my jacket, dear. Yeah, Here's really. what I will say, though, Melissa. If she had not worn that jacket, still folks in the media would have found something to criticize Obviously. about her going to the border. And I think that's where the frustration comes from, from the White House. It's like, we never get the benefit of the doubt. We never get fair treatment but, from members of the media. That being said, we can all agree here, this was a stupid choice. She should not. It was also just... Um, 
these are children that have been separated from their families. You know, it's an emotional, an emotional and heartbreaking thing. And it's not the time to wear a jacket. This Whatever of they course. meant in the end. It, it just, Even it if you not... meant nothing, there has right. to be someone with yeah. enough wherewithal on her yeah. team. Yeah. Well, yes. that's, that's, that's why Jessica's theory look, makes sense. Well, to look at the whole week, starting off with Secretary Nielsen lying and saying this isn't a policy mm -hmm. when she had privately expressed her deep concern for this and policy. And I would like to privately express to you that we have more oh, outnumbered bye. in just a moment. <laughs>